All right, class, happy Monday. Today our power up is power up F. Please start with your name on the top of the pa paper. It's multiplication. We're going to head across. 7 times 9 is 63. 4 times 4 is 16. 2 times 5 is 10. 6 times 9 is 54. 5 times 6 is 30. 3 times 8 is 24. 4 times 9 is 36. 2 times 3 is 6. 7 times 8 is 56. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 9 is 45. 3 times 4 is 12. 8 times 9 is 72. 2 times 2 is 4. 10 times 10 is 100. 4 times 6 is 24. 6 times 7 is 42. 2 times 8 is 16. 7 times 7 is 49. And 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 8 is 64, 2 times 7 is 14, 3 times 6 is 18, 5 times 8 is 40, 4 times 7 is 28, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 9 is 81, 5 times 7 is 35, 2 times 9 is 18, 7 times 1 is 7. 4 times 5 is 20, 6 times 8 is 48, 2 times 4 is 8, 0 times 0 is 0, 3 times 7 is 21, 4 times 8 is 32, 2 times 6 is 12, 5 times 5 is 25, 3 times 9 is 27, and 6 times 6 is 36. Alright, our mental math section, lesson 46, it's on page 289. A says, what coin has a value of 50% of 50 cents? When I say 50%, you say one half of 50 cents. If I take 50 cents, hopefully you know, to what equals 50 cents? Two quarters. So our answer is a quarter. B. Two tenths, I'm sorry, five tenths plus two tenths. Whenever I have add fractions, I'm going to add the numerators, keep the denominators. 10, 10, 10, and 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 tenths. Same thing for C, except for it's a subtraction problem. 5 tenths minus 2 tenths. Keep the denominators. And 5 minus 2 is 3. D says, says, an ant has six legs. Altogether, how many legs do 82 ants have? I hope they're not in the house. D, 82 ants times six legs per ant. Six times two is 12. Two down, one up. Six times eight is 48 plus one more is 49. 492 what? Legs. He says, one bag of apple, apple chips costs 75 cents. Ten bags of apple chips cost how much? So we got 75 cents times 10. Hang that zero out. Bring that zero down. One times 75 is 75. So all we did was move the decimal points over one time. So if the decimal point was here, we moved it over one time and added a zero. One, two, decimal point. $7.50 for 10 bags of apple chips. F says one half of 51. Remember, we can do this problem two ways. We can do it our old way. How many times does 2 go into 51? 2 goes into 51 two times. Subtract, you get 11. 5 times. Subtract, you get 1. 25 and a half. Or we can do it all the way back to less than... 11 where he said 51, the closest even number is 50. Half of 50 is 25. And you still have that one left. Give it the high yeah, and you get 25 and a half. Either way. All right. G. G says 25%. 25% of 24. When I say 25%, you say one fourth. The faster we have those memorized, the better. When I say 25%, you say one fourth. 
of 24. 24 divided by the bottom number equals 6. 6 what? 6 hours. All right, let's go across the bottom. 10 times 10 equals 100. 100 divided by 2 equals 50. 50 minus 1 equals 49. 49 is always divided by 7 equals 7. Minus 1 equals 6. Divided by 3 equals 2. Minus 2 equals L. Zicho. Nada. Zippo. None. All right, here's a fun little word problem for today. It says, choose an appropriate problem-solving strategy to solve this problem. Renee counted boats on the lake. One half of the boats were sailboats. Four of the boats were rowboats. The remaining were motorboats. If there are 12 boats all together, how many boats were motorboats? So let's get our three different kinds of boats in there. Renee counted boats. Half of the boats were sailboats. So I'm going to put sailboats here. And we only know half. Four boats were rowboats. This is the kind that I like to fish out of rowboats. And there was four, so we know exactly how many there were. And the rest were motorboats. If there was 12 total. So we got 12 total. We already know the four. We have no idea for the rowboats that give us, or the motorboats that give us no idea. And it says half of all, half of 12. So let's go ahead and take 12 and divide it by 2. It gives us 6. So we got 6 sailboats, 4 motorboat, four rowboats, and some motorboats equals 12. Looks like a missing added problem, right? Whenever we have a missing added problem, we're going to subtract. But let's add these guys up first. You get 10. Now you got the missing add-in. Subtract. 12 minus 10 equals 2. How many more boats? Two. And then I always like to write mine so I can box it up. Okay. All right, lesson 46. Flip that over. Divide in the sixth. Stay tuned for the next video to hear what we're going to learn today. It's exciting.